Hey friends, it's Amy Dad the Keto Queen. It's Monday and it has been a hectic, whew, hectic Monday. I hope you guys have had a great one. I am truly exhausted and said I do not want to cook tonight. I just want to go home and have a glass of wine and relax. That's what my brain told me. <laughs> but then my heart said, Amy Dove, come on now. Anybody can do that. <laughs> Why don't you be different and go home tired, but still stick to your lifestyle, your plan, your goal. And my goal is to feel great. So if I did come home and have a glass of wine and sit on the couch and been lazy, I probably would not have been proud of myself later tonight or felt good in the morning. <laughs> so instead, guys, we're going to cook an easy dinner. And this is a chicken parmesan over riced zucchini. I love this meal. It is so delicious and so easy. So if it sounds good, press the share button. If you guys are like me and you need easy dinner, to get yourself in and out of the kitchen and stay on plan press share we're gonna do this together it has been a wild day I think the devil has really been testing me because you guys know I love Mondays like Mondays have always been my favorite day of the week but it has been so daggone wild Whew, I'm telling you exhausting totally mentally exhausted today so we're gonna do this together and we're gonna do it fast I'm gonna show you how easy it is to mix together a chicken parmesan my family loves this of course, the rice zucchini I've done several times, so we're going to do it again together tonight, just in case you're new or have never seen the recipe. So we're making the chicken parmesan, and for the crust of the parmesan, I'm using my air fryer. You can also use your oven if you'd like. If you're going to use your oven, turn it on 350, put some parchment paper out on a baking sheet, and you can follow the same recipe without an air fryer. But I love my air fryer. It crisps up perfect. It makes the perfect juicy pork chops and chicken, so that's what we're sticking with. So we are gonna use two ingredients for our crust tonight. We're using grated Parmesan, and I know y'all see me use this a lot. I love it for a crust in your air fryer. It makes the perfect thin crust. It doesn't overweigh or overpower the meat. It's very fine. So some crushed, not crushed, grated Parmesan in the, in the canister is what I'm using. And then we're also using some Italian seasoning. So I have my Italian seasoning inside the crushed Parmesan. I call it crushed, it's grated, it's really fine. And then we're just gonna mix up those two ingredients, okay? And my hands are fixing to get dirty with the chicken, so let me know where you guys are watching from. I hope you're already sharing this video so we can help more people who are stressed and busy like we are to show them how easy it is to stay on target even when you don't wanna cook. Just make something super easy and delicious. So I'm gonna be in and out of the kitchen pretty quickly with this. All right, we're gonna take our chicken. I bought thin chicken because I wanna cook fast, right? So every time I buy chicken, it's thin chicken or chicken strips. You can buy thick old breast if you want to, you'll be cooking longer. All right, now I did put a little bit of oil and just oiled the batch of my chicken, uh, just so the crust will stay on a little better. You don't have to, you can take your chicken, wash, dried, padded, and then dip it. So we're gonna dip it on both sides of the chicken breast. Again, thick and thin chicken breast. And I'm gonna show you guys how thin this crust is. A lot of people say they don't like Parmesan cheese. I totally get it, but look how thin this is. I mean, it's barely crusted, but it makes a perfect chicken. So we're gonna put this in our air fryer basket, and then we're gonna do our next ones. And we're just gonna crush it down or push it down in this crust to get the mixture. So again, thin chicken breast. Boy, that's a big one. My husband will like that one. <laughs> that's a big old chicken breast, all right? And if you wanted to, you could dip this in egg first, uh, if you dip it in egg, it just makes the crust thick. Uh, I like a thin crust, so most of the time you'll see me just dip it right into my crust batter instead of an egg, but you can do it either way. It's up to you guys. So I'm going to show you again, just a really thin crust. It kind of looks like shake and bake, don't it? So delicious. We're going to put this one in our air fryer basket. And you guys know I love my air fryer basket because it holds a lot of food, so we're going to do a couple more of these. All right. Again, we're just going to press it in our crust. And I'm gonna have my air fryer on 350 and we'll cook these for about 10 minutes. Um, at 10 minutes, we'll check it out. These are thin chicken breasts, so if it cooks a lot longer than that, it won't be much longer. And we have some marinara that we're gonna put on top of this along with our shredded mozzarella, which makes it chicken parmesan. So again, it's the grated parmesan with Italian seasoning for the crust. All right, let me do one little small one. I think I got a little small one on here. Um, no, I'll just do three at a time. No, I gotta do more than that because my husband will eat more than that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I can put this one in here. All right, if you don't have enough crust, just make up some more. All right, we're fixing to put this in the air fryer and then we're gonna move on to the rice zucchini. I'm gonna show you guys, I took your advice. I took some advice from you guys and I got me a new toy at the grocery store. We're at Walmart. Walmart is my grocery store. 
All right, let me dip this. Just want to get it crusted good. Now I'll have to make another plate for my other two that will cook last. That'll be for my daughter when she gets home late tonight. She's working tonight. All right, let me squeeze this in here. Oh yeah, that's good. We can do that. Oh yeah, I got room. So this is why I love my air fryer. I can put three or four big old pieces of chicken in there. I love this air fryer. It's the Cuisinart TOA60. I wish I bought stock in it because I probably could be a millionaire from how many times I've talked about it. I love the Cuisinart TOA60. <laughs> All right, put it back in here. Now we're going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to put it on 350. Oh, you know what? One last thing. Let me wash my hands real fast. I'll be right back. pepper my meat okay so I do want to go ahead and add look at that my husband used all my pepper yesterday on his wings he did not even what in the what does your husband do that to you use your stuff up in the kitchen I'm replace I'd have beat him lord and mercy all right let me fill up my pepper because I always salt and pepper my foods that boy I'm telling you what he used all my pepper I guess he thought I'd just replace it when I need it like the very next day <laughs> yeah. all right get this in here all right, I'll stop here and fill it up when we're done. All right, so I'm going to salt and pepper each one of my chicken breasts. Pepper. Of course, you guys hear me say this all the time. Make sure you're using a good pink Himalayan salt. I'm using Redmond's Real Salt. That's mined in the U.S. Great for the electrolytes you need on keto. So I've got my air fryer on 350, and we're going to cook this for 10 minutes, so it's going to cook fast. Let's go ahead and get our skillet going. We're going to turn this butter on. And right now, we're going to go ahead and make our riced zucchini. Guys, deliciousness. If you've never tried it before, you have got to trust me. It is so good. Uh, the chicken parmesan is that simple. We made the crust. We dipped it. We put it in the air fryer. We're going to let it cook. When it finishes, we've got some marinara sauce that we're going to add. Just a couple of tablespoons or a tablespoon on each piece. This is the Victoria. It's so super cheap. It's really good. You don't have to add seasonings to it. I really like it. I love Rayos just like the rest of you guys, but this is so cheap. <laughs> it's like $3 and something. And it has the exact same carb counts as Rayos, which is five net carbs for half a cup, which is great, right? Now, I haven't read the ingredients in a while. The ingredients, whole tomatoes and juice, onions, olive oil, sea salt, garlic, basil, spices. Does it say sugar? Nope. <laughs> so I love the Victoria's marinara because it's cheaper than Rayo's and it's good. Now I love my Rayo's and if it goes on sale, I buy a bunch of them. All right. So when the chicken's done, we're going to put a couple of tablespoons across the chicken. We're going to top it with some mozzarella, put it back in there to let the mozzarella melt. Yummy. Good to go. Chicken Parmesan. But the rice zoodles that it's going to, or the rice zucchini it's going to lay on as a bed for the plate is delicious. So I've got two tablespoons we're melting in my skillet. And guys, look what I did. I took your advice. I bought a box grater. <laughs> and so far I have not cut, I have not cut myself. So <laughs> tonight we're making rice zucchini, right? So I love zoodles. If you have a zoodler, you can zoodle up your zoodles. Delicious. I just don't like to clean. I know it's lazy, but it is what it is, and I'll admit it, I don't like to clean. So instead, I like to use a little grater that we're going to use the same thing for the cheese. So I got one appliance out, and it's easy to wash, right? So we're just going to take our zucchini, I cut off the end, and we're just going to grate it right down the grater while that butter is melting. This is so much easier, guys. Thank you for the advice. Look, and I got a paper plate and everything. Man, less mess. Hopefully, I won't cut myself. <laughs> We're just making the riced zucchini. Super easy and delicious, and you can make a million different styles of zoodles or riced zucchini. I just like this because it's easier, right? Zoodles are delicious. They are different because they're thicker, but this is just easy. This is a big zucchini. This is probably about eight carbs because this is a bigger one. A normal size zucchini, like an average size is six carbs. So this is going to be a great portion for my husband. And I got a smaller one for me already zoodled up. Or zoodled, not zoodled, rice. All right, y'all see how easy this is. I'm almost done. Whew, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> and 
I'm making a little mess, but it's all right. Now watch this. The finale. Here we go. I did this a while ago and I was so impressed with myself. Watch. Look at all that rice zucchini. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So I'm just gonna take my hands in here and clean the inside out. Now you'll see they're wet, right? Zucchini holds a lot of moisture. Doesn't bother me one bit because I always make a sauce, which we are making a sauce tonight with our zucchini. So who cares if it's got some moisture in there? Let me get this over here out of the way. So I've got two zucchinis rice like that. I've got my skillet of butter, two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic because we're making zoodles. You have to have garlic, right? You can use garlic powder if you like, and I probably will use both. <laughs> So I've got some butter and garlic, and we'll cook this for just a couple of minutes, maybe just one minute. I've got it on medium heat. Let me get my spatula out. Uh, actually, use this. So we're gonna cook this um, butter and garlic for just a couple of minutes. Guys, if you have questions for me, go ahead and put them in the comments. I will check and see what kind of questions you guys have for me. I just wanna cook first so that we can sit down and talk. So any questions you have, keto related, low carb related, keto nat related, just put it in the comments. Mmm, it smells so good already. All right, so all we need for this is our butter, your garlic, if you want garlic, you don't have to. You got your riced zucchini, all right? This is cooking, it smells good already. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my zucchini in. This is gonna be a very fast dinner. I've got two zucchinis, one for my husband and one for myself. Now that looks like a lot, right? That's only one, let me add the other one. <laughs> Here's my first plate I made a while ago by myself. That looks like a lot of zucchini, but it cooks down, okay? So it's not gonna be nearly as much as it looks. It still has the carbs, right? You're still gonna eat carbs. So make sure you understand how much to cook. If you're just cooking for two or three people, this is plenty for us. And I am cooking for four plates. I'm gonna have myself one, my husband one, my daughter one, and one leftover. All right, so we're just gonna let this cook. It's on medium heat. You'll hear it sizzling. Hear it? It's sizzling a little bit. And we're gonna season it the exact same way we did a while ago with our chicken. We're gonna use Italian seasoning. So we're just gonna Italian it up. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on it. If you want to make it spicy, you could add some red pepper flakes. Just don't be like me, little bit at a time. <laughs> salt and pepper, of course, always. You have to have some good salt to make the vegetables taste great and pepper. We're just gonna let these sizzle. Now my chicken is already cooked about five minutes. It looks good so far. I'm gonna pull it out in just a second and show you the finished product. I do not flip my chicken. A lot of people ask me why I don't flip my meat in the, in the air fryer. I just don't, there's no reason to. If you want to, go right ahead. You don't have to do everything just like me. If you like to flip it, flip it. I don't, I've got mine cooking on 10 minutes. It's gonna cook on 10 minutes one side. So you hear them sizzling now? <laughs> All right, we're gonna stir them up. It doesn't take long at all for riced zucchini to cook. So just cook it to the softness that you like. When you're about halfway done, we're gonna add some things. Don't let it overcook. If it overcooks, it turns to mush. So about half the consistency you like, we're gonna add a little sauce. So I always like to sauce my zoodles, or zucchini, rice zucchini. You don't have to, 100% don't have to. You can cook them just like this, add the seasonings to it, and put this on your plate but I love to make mine really, really nice. So we're gonna cook them about halfway and then we're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream, just a little bit of heavy cream at a time. But before we go there, let's go ahead and make our cheese. I'm gonna use my same paper plate, but I'm getting, I'm really lazy tonight, I'm telling y'all, I, I ain't cleaning tonight. Ricky can do it or it ain't getting done. Okay, so we're gonna use the same appliance, right? Very few messes in here. We're gonna take a block of mozzarella cheese because guys, your block cheese is a million times better than the bag cheese. Yes, you see me use bag cheese and I'll probably will later this week. But when I have an opportunity to make a really great tasting dish, I always wanna sh uh, shred my own cheese. The blocks of cheese are so much better for you. They don't have that stuff in there um, for the caking agent to keep the shredded cheese fresh or separate. Because if you put this in a bag, it's gonna clump up, right? The other bags don't because there's caking agents in there. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you use it, I use it. But I'm telling you, if you wanna make a really great tasting plate, you wanna have your own cheese shredded. So I'm just shredding a little bit of cheese with my new shredder. Thank you guys for the recommendation of getting me a box shredder. All right. And that definitely is not enough cheese. <laughs> I got a whole block. I think this is a, I can't remember if it's an eight or a 16 ounce block, but I'm gonna shred this sucker up. 
You hear my zucchini over here is sizzling. We're going to stir it up again. Now you can add more seasonings to it if you want to add some oregano, if you want to add some garlic powder, if you want to add, you know, more Italian, anything you'd like, red pepper flakes, like I said. Everything you add to it just makes it taste that much better. I love rice to zucchini, especially when it's the bottom layer of my plate. Um, a lot of people love cauliflower rice. My husband's not a big fan, so I just make our own zucchini rice. All right, get this out. I have not cut myself yet. I'm so proud, guys. If you know me, you know I cut myself with these darn graders. Or shredders, whatever you want to call them. All right, let me get this out of the way. Yum, it's looking good. It ain't done yet, but it's looking good. All right, we're going to stir this up. I'm going to go ahead and add in my heavy cream. You just want to add a little bit of heavy cream. If you put too much, it's going to take forever to cook down, which means soggy vegetables. So just a little bit of heavy cream. And this is just to make the sauce. So we know zoodles hold moisture, so they are watery. Why not make a sauce out of it? So put just a little bit of heavy cream, really just a little bit, maybe a two or three tablespoons. And all we're really doing is letting it cook down into the, the skillet. Uh, so we have our heavy cream, and then we're going to add, we're going to taste it to see if we need any more seasonings, which you guys know I'm going to add more. <laughs> I love my seasonings. But taste it to see if it needs more salt. Taste it to see if you want to add some more garlic or Italian, oregano, red pepper. You can add whatever you like. This is your dish that you can make a million different ways. So normally I would make just an Alfredo zoodle. So I'd add the heavy cream, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of mozzarella cheese and be done with it. But tonight we are going to add just a little bit of our marinara sauce to the zoodles. I keep calling them zoodles, but you guys hear me, it's rice to zucchini. <laughs> All right, let me open this up. Ooh, they're not done. Not done yet, but they're looking pretty. Let me see if I can get my phone over here. It's on the charger. Hold my thing so it doesn't get burnt. There we go. Now, you'll see the crust is starting to burn up just a little bit. It is a very thin crust, remember? So if you want to be thicker, you can dip it in egg and then your crust, or you can use the uh, cheese and pork rinds. But we just use the grated cheese and Italian seasoning to dip those chickens in. It looks really good right now. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. I still have to cook it for 10 minutes and check it out. We're going to go ahead and cook it a couple more minutes because I really do want to have a little bit of crisp to the top. All right. So I've got my heavy cream in the skillet. You guys saw me do that. Let me go ahead and taste it and see if I need anything. Got a fork. It's delicious, but definitely needs more salt. So guys, it looks like I'm putting tons of salt on here, right? If you're new to keto, pink Himalayan salt takes a lot of salt to taste, which is a good thing because if you have a good pink Himalayan salt, you're putting minerals in every dish. Uh, I'm using Redmond's Real Salt, which is a, a, a mine here in the U.S., a salt mine. It's got all the minerals you need. You can use a good pink Himalayan salt from any grocery store. Uh, it's just pink Himalayan salt. As long as you got one, you're good. All right, and I am going to go ahead and add some more garlic powder. As you guys know, I love my garlic. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. Now this is good and yummy. Okay, it is a little watery. As you can see, I put the heavy cream in there. It's gonna keep cooking down, so I can let it keep cooking if I want to, but when we add our cheeses in there, it's going to soak up all this juice. And this is going to be an amazing riced zucchini to put on the bottom of our plate for that beautiful chicken dish. If you guys have seen this finished dish before, you know what I'm talking about. It looks beautiful, but even more than that, it tastes fantastic. So if this, has, if this is something you haven't done before, you definitely want to take the opportunity to get it done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add <clears throat> some Parmesan cheese to my zucchini. And we're gonna turn the eye off. We're gonna let it simmer on this, on this hot eye. About fourth a cup is fine. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Parmesan, oh not Parmesan, mozzarella. Now you don't have to do this part. You can leave it off. You don't have to make a sauce out of it. You can just season your zoodles, zucchini. I keep saying zoodles. I did zoodles for so many years, it's hard to get that out of my head. All right, and now I'm gonna grate some more because I need some for my chicken. And 
You only need a little bit of cheese to go on top of that chicken because we have the cheese and the sauce already. A big piece. Throw that in there. Alright. There we go. Yum. Alright. So let's take a look at this chicken. It looks amazing. We're going to go ahead and open up this marinara. Whoop, that's got to be washed. Give me a spoon. Alright, so guys, I don't know if you can see me way over there, but we're going to take this marinara and we're going to pour just a couple of tablespoons, if not just one, on top of the chicken. Now, I got a big piece of chicken, so I'm definitely doing two. On my smaller pieces of chicken, I'll just do one. Okay. And then we're going to take our grated mozzarella, put a little bit on top. I'm fixing to show you the finished thing. After we uh, heat the chicken, the cheese up, it's good and done. Okay. Pull my phone back over here so you guys can see this. It looks amazing. Get my cord. All right, so can you see it, guys? All right, so this is going to be delicious. We're going to heat it up just a couple more minutes just to melt that cheese, and we've got our chicken parmesan ready to go. Get back in there. All right, now look at this zucchini. It looks really good. The cheese is melted. I am going to add just a little bit of the marinara to my zoodles, to my zucchini, uh, just because I want a little bit extra seasoning, and this sauce is a great seasoning. We're gonna stir this up. And you can see it's still a little watery. See that water right there? That's okay. You can use a slotted spoon or you can just let it keep cooking. I don't want it to keep cooking because I don't want my vegetables mushy. So I will use a slotted spoon to try to get some of the juice out when I plate my zucchini. But gosh, look how beautiful this is. It is so delicious. I promise, trust me, you've got to try this dish for dinner. All right, I am going to get off here. Actually, I'm going to see if you guys have any questions for me real quick. Let me <coughs> move this phone out of the way. <sighs> Take the charger off. All right, let me see if you guys have any questions while that cheese is melting over there on our chicken. And then I'm going to jump off here so me and my husband can eat and I can fix Haley's chicken afterwards. Let me tell him it's almost ready. He's fixing to walk in the garage. All right, guys, I hope you had a great day. <laughs> I hope you've shared this video. If it sounds anything like something you'd want to cook or eat, make sure you share it so we can attract more people to keto that completely changes lives. Guys, I wish I could share every single story I get through my messenger. So many messages of people who have shared how their lives have been changed. Every once in a while, I'll post something on my page with their permission without their names. But guys, it just really warms my heart to know, even with those negative Nancy's out there, that a lots of people are being helped and I love it. So Sarah says, my apartment in Jackson waiting on sushi, no rice or eel sauce for me. Yay. Um, so yes, it's, it's just a wonderful thing. So make sure you share these videos so we can attract more people to a low carb lifestyle, uh, whether it's low carb or keto and help them all change their lives. It's just amazing to hear and see the stories that I see on a daily basis. Thank you, Diana, for sharing. I hope you guys have a great night. I'm checking real quick to see if we see anything. Marsha, I did not spray my pan because it never sticks, not this recipe. It doesn't hurt to spray your um, air fryer pan. You certainly can. I just don't most times. Um, let's see. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. It's been a wild day today, so I hope I'm helping you guys a little bit. I truly did not want to cook, and then I thought, Amy, what good is that going to do? What good is it, what good is it going to do to come home and, and mop after a, a bad day? Because it's been a bad day. I and mean, what good is it going to do, though, to sit on the couch and be like, my day sucked. I don't want to cook. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to talk to nobody. 
because I really didn't want to, <laughs> I really don't want to have any small talk with my husband tonight. Isn't that awful, guys? <laughs> it's just been one of them days. He's experienced it too. We all have. All right, let's see. We're going to watch some uh, Outer Banks and uh, fill up some time later. I may get outside and do a little bit of walking just depends. I definitely have to clean up the little bit of mess I've made over here. I'm looking to see if you guys have any questions. I'm just scrolling through. Oh, thank you, Lee. I will try that. I appreciate that very much. No, I'm not a lefty. I'm just a weirdo, Pamela. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm just scrolling to see if there's any questions for my, myself before I turn this off. Would a food processor be faster? Yes, a food processor would be faster, Marsha. I just hate cleaning it. I mean, guys, I never lie to you. I just, I hate cleaning. I do not like cleaning. I try to make as little mess as I, as humanly possible because my husband used to walk behind me and clean behind me. But since we started all this construction, he's been doing so much work outside. I don't see him until it's time to eat. <laughs> so he has not been cleaning up behind me. And I, I don't like to, I'm not a housekeeper. Do not like to clean. Um, Cheesecloth over, yes, that would work too. Guys, you are great. I got some great suggestions. All right, came in late. What, is, what rice are you using? We made our own rice zucchini. You'll have to try that out. Is heavy cream same as half and half? No, Marsha, there is two different products. There is heavy cream and there is half and half. Heavy cream, to me, I believe, it's been so long since I looked at a half and half, has less carbs, less calories, I believe. Um, but yeah, I love heavy cream when I'm making a cream sauce or, uh, yeah, cream sauces are awesome with the heavy cream. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, it is, Linda. It is the exact same, almost the exact same recipe as I made last week with the Italian sausage. I used that zoodle recipe or that zucchini recipe with a lot of dishes. It's just so easy and you can truly use it with so many different items. So excited to get her 10 day challenge delivered. Yay, Melissa. I'm so excited. Keep me posted. Make sure you send me a message uh, if you haven't already so I can tell you how to mix it up. Um, Karen starting her 10 day challenge tomorrow. Yay. I'm so excited for you. I've had a lot of messages today from friends saying, oh my gosh, this flavor is delicious. Or, oh my gosh, I'm already feeling energy. Uh, we're all a little different, but I'm so excited for all of you guys to try them. Bought the same air fryer. Absolutely loves it. Yay, Denise. Um, isn't that awesome? Okay. I'm seeing some people saying they're, they already cooked this tonight. So that's awesome. <laughs> that means I'm sharing great recipes that you guys love, just like me. How much water do you use the Keto Nat Challenge, Linda? You're going to use 16 to 22 ounces of cold or ice cold water. Uh, mix it up. Drink it within 30 minutes. Don't sip on it all day. It doesn't work that way. You want to drink it within 30 minutes once you start. If you drink it, like sip it all day long, think of it like this. You got a headache and you need a Tylenol. And instead of taking the whole thing, you're like cutting it up into tiny, tiny little slivers and taking a sliver all day long. It doesn't work, right? So same thing with the ketones. Make sure you drink them within 30 minutes so that they work the way they're supposed to. Don't sip it. Uh, Gail, sometimes I do need me time. I, that's right. Everybody needs self-care time, right? I really feel like helping you guys is my self-care though. Is that corny? <laughs> I don't care if it is. It's the truth. Uh, sometimes I just want to get alone and like answer all these questions and, and I love helping people feel good. So to me, that almost is some me time. Uh, but yes, I do sometimes like to Kathy says it's her first live. Do I preheat my air fryer? I don't, Kathy, because my air fryer works that great. I mean, it's just so fast, so hot. I mean, it's so hot, so fast. And if you preheat it, it really gets cooking fast. Like if I have a second pan, if I put a second pan right in after this, it cooks less time because it gets really, really hot. Uh, Elaine doesn't need to lose weight, but guess what? You can feel so good. And that is her thing. She says, just want to feel better with pain. Elaine, sugar causes inflammation. Carbs cause inflammation, which causes pain and swelling. is awful. Inflammation, if you Google inflammation alone, you'll find so many problems with our health that is all associated with inflammation. So if you go low carb or keto, the inflammation is almost destroyed. It's amazing. So yes, even if you're doing keto for non-weight loss reasons, there are so many awesome benefits to keto or low carb. I, I promote them both. Um, thank you, Connie. I'm so glad you've lost 20 pounds. I know you're going to keep on going. I know you're going to feel better. Guys you are awesome. What about the electrolytes? Do you have to drink them fast? Electrolytes, Brenda, are you talking about like our product, the Mitoplex? Uh, I mix mine with the Keto Nat. Um, Jerry, I see that. I will send you some information on the challenge. Thank you, Marsha. Y'all are so sweet. I just love you guys. <laughs> 
Do you pound my chicken? I didn't because I bought it thin. They have thin sliced chicken at Walmart, so I buy a thin sliced chicken that way. I don't have to do all that work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I think I made it through all the questions. I need to holler at my husband and tell him to come cook. Let's check out this chicken. It just finished in the air fryer. Ooh, it looks yummy. Look at how beautiful that is. Man, that is some good stuff right there. So this is the chicken parmesan that we're gonna put over our riced zucchini. And guys, look how beautiful that is. So you actually got to see a finished meal. Are y'all proud of me? <laughs> Sometimes I never finish them with you on here because I can't make the cooking time go. So I found that if I go ahead and cook and then start talking to you guys about the questions and answers, I get to the end. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. If I can help you in any way, please send me a message. Share, 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 share my video so we can reach more people to help more people feel just as good as we do. Guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.